in today's episode we are going to make an order system where NPCs can order food from you and you can work to gain money. Let's get started. Now the first step is to get the starter pack which can be found in the description of the video. Once you have the link, you have this page right here. So make sure you t click the take model button and once this has been done, you can go into Roblox Studio. Once you're here, go to the toolbox tab and go to inventory. Then click order system starter pack. There we go. And now we have the starter pack and you can see we have a wall, a like, yeah, what's gonna call it? A counter and uh, an NPC. So it says ungroup me. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click on ungroup. And now it says ungroup under workspace. So I'm just gonna ungroup it right uh, there. There we go. And we have ungroup under replicated storage. So I'm gonna drag it down here and I'm gonna click ungroup. Then ungroup under starter GUI. So let's do that, ungroup. There we go. And then let's go to this filter workspace and let's write the screen. Good. Now let's take the surface GUI and uh, let's click Adorni and let's select the screen. There we go. And as you can see, we have these uh, dots all over the map. We have one here and two there. So you can move these wherever you like. It's basically, this is where the NPCs will spawn and this is where they will walk. And once the order has been completed, this is where they will end their life, <laughs> you know? So yeah. Anyways, so now that we have it ungrouped, we can start writing our scripts. Let's go to server script service. Let's insert a script. Let's just call it order handler. Go to replicated storage, insert a remote event, and let's call it order event. Okay. Now we can start. So we'll, first we will get the replicated storage. So let's do game get service replicated storage. And this basically just waits until replicated storage has loaded. Then we want the order event, which is under replicated storage. And we are going to use wait for child, which is basically just doing the same thing as get service. It will just wait until it has it. And then we also want our characters folder which is also under replicated storage. So let's just wait for it. Let's also get our system, which is basically the order system under workspace. So I'm just gonna do uh, workspace, wait for child, uh, order system. Okay. We are going to make this list of foods that we have. So we have burger, we have chicken, we have cola, and no cola is not a food, but whatever it, it does not, it doesn't matter. Okay, so and there we go, and we have pizza. <clears throat> okay, so we have burger, chicken, cola, and pizza. We also need some icons for them, and I've already selected some icons. But if you want to choose something else, that's fine. So the pizza is Roblox asset ID colon that uh, slash slash. 1492 8825 7 actually let's just paste it in much faster so there we go so just just copy these make sure they are, are correct then you can do local current order equals nil or nothing local current customer is also nil local reward which is the amount of currency the player gets once he completes a order I'm just gonna set it to two we could just write a comment here so you can change it later if you want to there we go I'm gonna make a local function called new order the local function new order local char equals chars get yeah, children math dot random one to hashtag chars 
characters actually. Characters get children. Sorry. Chloe. Char dot parent equals workspace. Local UI equals and then let's take this wish UI and let's drag it into the order handler. Local UI equals script dot wish UI clone char dot let's just write local humanoid equals char dot humanoid and then humanoid sorry char dot humanoid root part dot c frame equals system dot checkpoints dot star dot c frame and then humanoid move to system dot checkpoints oh my god checkpoints dot normal dot position and once it has finished moving so humanoid dot move to finished wait we know that it's walked all the way to the normal right there so then we can start showing the bubble which shows what the heck the npc wants to buy or order so we are going to ui.parent equals char.head current order equals foods math.random one to hashtag foods ui.item icon image equals icons current order ui.enable equals true current customer equals char and then we want to make an order there we go and then we'll do order event on server event connect function player item this is because we will write a local script later which is on the client or on the player script side sorry and when the player clicks one of the buttons we will let the server know that it happened basically if that's good enough explanation and then if this item that he clicked is the same as the current order then he wrote the correct order he ordered the correct thing for the npc and then we will give him a board there we go and then we will set the current order to nil current customer dot humanoid move to System dot checkpoints dot end dot position then current customer dot humanoid dot move to finish wait current customer dot destroy a new order and that's the order handler script we can now go into this order GUI and insert a local script let's just call it uh, local order handler. It's a lot shorter, so don't you worry about that. So, local rs equals game get service service replicated in storage. Local debounce, which is basically like cooldown, is false. And for frame in pairs, so basically for each one of these frames, we will check if it is a first of all, if it's a frame. And then frame and as you can see I have a button in each one of the frames so frame dot wait for child click button dot mouse button and click if not debound then people debound equals true rs order event fire server frame dot name so the name of the frame which is like pizza cola chicken or burger and we will wait uh, 0.5 seconds and then we will set the debounce aka cooldown to false. Okay, so we are just gonna make a new script called leader stats handler. And we are going to get the players service. God, I'm rushing today. Oh, come on. Players, there we go. And then players stop their added connect function player local folder equals instant.new folder folder.name equals leader stats. Local money equals into button new into value. Money dot name equals money. Money dot parent equals folder and folder dot parent equals player. There we go. 
let's have a look. So let's click play here. And uh, okay, he wants a chicken. I'm gonna click, oh, and I got $2. So I'm gonna click the wrong one, so burger. And now you can see I got no money. So that's basically how the system works. Thank you guys very much for watching my video. I hope you guys have a nice day.